Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Question 2. A dwelling unit containing two 120 volt laundry branch circuits has a calculated load of blank volt amps for the laundry circuits. And our choices are A, 1500, B, 3000, C, 4500, and D, 6000. So when we start looking at this question, our potential keywords or key phrases would be dwelling unit, laundry, and branch circuits. So let's start looking in these areas, and we're going to look in laundry first. So we're in the index, and we can see we've looked up laundry, and our very first heading is circuit load, and it gives us 220.52B. Now, it looks like we hit the jackpot, because our question asked us if we had a calculated circuit load of blank volt amps. So this is going to be a very good place to look. Now remember we also thought a dwelling unit, dwelling was one of the things to look at in branch circuits. Now dwelling here gives us several things to look under. Now we are going to look under circuit load. When you're taking your exam, you're going to want to put a marker in this page of the index in case you have to come back to it. But circuit load looks pretty good. But under dwelling, I want you to look at this one right here, 210.52F kind of keep that number in mind here. But right now we're going to go to 220.52B and look at circuit load. So here we are at 220.52 and we want B. Now this says small appliance and laundry loads dwelling unit. Now if you go to the top of the page on your code book and again you should have your code book open when you're following along Article 220 is branch circuit feeder and service calculations. So that's what we want. Our question is asking us for a calculated load. Now we need to drop down to letter B to get our answer. That's what we're looking for. If we look in the index and we have B, laundry circuit load. Now a load of not less than 1500 volt amps shall be included for each two wire laundry branch circuit. Okay. Now and it talks about it's this load is permitted to be calculated in other sections, but we wanted to have that. So that's 1500, right? But remember our question asked us a dwelling unit that had two laundry branch circuits. So 2 times 1,500 would be 3,000 volt amps. So again, sometimes this could be tricky on the test. You might say, oh, well, 1,500 is one of our answer choices, answer A. But we have two branch circuits, so we have this, and it's 1,500 for each. So that would be 3,000, which would be answer B for our question. Now let's take this opportunity though, we said we're going to be learning about the, t the code book and learning not to get on wild goose chases. Now remember the first question, we found the answer in two possible places. So let's see if that would have happened again this time. So we decided when we looked at our question, we would look in our index under a laundry first. Now dwelling unit and branch circuits were also uh, optional choices. So let's go under dwelling. Now the reason we would take dwelling as opposed to branch circuit, branch circuit is a very big section which is article 210. And so we want to try to get it more specific when we're looking for something. So we're going to be looking dwelling unit and possible laundry loads. Now in branch circuit, we would also be looking for laundry or dwelling units. But most likely it would be laundry under branch circuits we would look for. So let's go to our index now and look under dwelling and let's see what we can find there. So here we are under dwellings. And if we look under here at first, it says also see appliances, boxes, branch circuits. So 
branch circuits, remember, was Article 210. And now appliances, we think, okay, well, maybe, a, you know, a washing machine, dryer, those are appliances. We could look there. Now, if we go underneath here, we don't see laundry, okay, once we get past here. So branch circuits is kind of broad in general. So if I was here and I came here first, I would go and look under appliances. So let's do that in our index. Okay, so here we are in the index under appliances. Now again, we're looking for something to do with laundry. Now, we also come down though, but we see dwelling units under appliances. And remember that number I told you, 210.52 and then F. Okay, now let's look under here. Let's scroll down a bit and see. We get down here and there's no, nothing laundry mentioned under appliances. So what we're going to have to do, let's go to this 210.52 and let's see what we could find there. Okay, so here we are at 210.52, dwelling unit receptacle outlets. Now, remember in that other section we looked at in index, it had a letter F past it. Now see here, this is a C and up here is a B. Let's just scroll up a little bit. Let's scroll up a little bit, and we see this is under Roman numeral 3, required outlets. So it's talking about general cord pendant, cord connection types. And so again, 210.52 dwelling unit outlets. Now we could read through, but let's go and find F after here. Now you'll have your code book. Now, it's going to be about two pages over. So I'm going to go there right now. So turn there in your code book. So here we are at F, laundry areas. And so it says, in dwelling units, at least one receptacle outlet shall be installed for the laundry. And it gives exceptions as to why you don't need it. OK, that does not give us a uh, calculated load. So let's go back to our index again, though, under dwelling. So we're back at the index under dwellings. And if we go down here, feeder load calculations, because the question was asking for a calculated load. But if you start, and I'm going to let you do this on your own if you like, if you start going through these sections and reading it, you're kind of going to be going on a wild goose chase. You're really not going to be getting the answer that you need. We already had our answer a long time ago, but I wanted to show you some of these other things in these early questions to kind of help you identify a situation in which you know you're not getting the answer. So when you're taking the test, you've got to get your answer quickly because you have a time constraint. You've got to do 100 answers in four hours. When you're on the job, you're looking for one answer, and if it takes you a couple extra minutes, that's not a big deal because you want to make sure you get that answer right. So taking a couple extra minutes, which could save you hours or even days on a job, it's worth it. On your test, you've got that extra time constraint. So it's a little bit of an artificial situation. So you have to get that answer quickly. And the test is not designed they don't want to keep you from getting the license, but they want you to earn it. So keep that in mind. In other words, it's, it's not that the state wants to just hand them out to everybody. You, they want you to be qualified, and they want you to earn your license. So they're going to make it hard, but they're not going to make it impossible. So that being the case, we have found our answer. So once again, the answer to our question is B. 3,000 volt amps. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.